Welcome back. Before the break, we were talking about some of the reasons why women are unable to leave their abusive relationship. And we have on the stage a professional and expert in helping women flee from their abusive relationship. And we're going to be speaking with her now to probably educate us more as to what is abuse, what are the causes, and so many other things. Could you please introduce yourself? So I'm Wendy Comiotis, Executive Director of Matt Trap in Action, an organization that focuses on the prevention of violence against women and children and youth. Right. So Wendy, do I address you by yeah, your first Wendy's name? Yeah, Wendy's fine, okay. yes. Wendy, what is abuse? Mm -hmm. What is domestic abuse to be sure. precise? Sure, yeah, okay. So um, there are sort of several forms of violence that women experience. So domestic violence is one. Mm -hmm. and, um, and domestic violence, basically, you're looking at, um, usually it starts with verbal or emotional mm -hmm. abuse, and that's where there's name calling, there's um, a lot of insults. Um, thrown at the woman, very demeaning statements, lots of put downs, mm -hmm. and um, very hurtful words that yeah. are said to really make um, the woman feel um, bad about herself or right. to feel worthless. Right. And um, and in terms of um, physical mm. and and sort of the verbal abuse can escalate and move up to physical, to physical right. abuse. Right. So because right. there's a cycle, mm -hmm. and um, and with physical abuse it can be anything from slapping, hitting, punching, shoving. choking, shoving. Pretty much, it's um, mm. you know very, very can be very damaging, and that's where you see like the evidence right. in terms of physical bruising and whatnot. Right. So what are the signs? What, what signs should we look out for? Sure, well, um, first of all, if you've got a partner that's very um, jealous mm. and very controlling, wants mm. to know your every move, mm. um, if he um, is threatening you or stalking you, and what mm. does that mean? Well, stalking could be sort of um, constant attention, so constantly calling you, if, even if you say, well, you're busy, mm. you're doing something, or mm. he's texting you all the time, um, or just following you around. Wouldn't you interpret right. that as, right. oh, he loves me? No, that's not it. It's usually a bad thing. I, I would think much, if I somebody you, was not... like, you know, caring mm -hmm. to know everything, you would think, aww. <laughs> Is no? <laughs> Is that not well, the case? You know what? No, no, because it's excessive. When it's excessive, mm, it's like actually that. dangerous. Oh, okay. When so there's too there's much line, attention. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Mm -hmm. Do we really know what causes this abuse? Is there, is there sure. a way to know mm -hmm. what causes it? Well, there are a number of things. Um, those of us who've been doing the work for a long time will say it's really about power mm. and, and about control. Mm. And it's about seeing women as some something that they own, Property. really. Oh. So essentially, you know, you're my wife or you're my woman or you're my girlfriend and I need to have access to you whenever I want and mm. I should have access to you. Okay. Yeah, and I think but, that's also part of what society okay. tends to teach. Right, yeah, but I was doing a mm -hmm. study that says mm -hmm. um, that there are so many myths around mm -hmm. the causes of domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. You just said power and control. Mm -hmm. But some say mm -hmm. that alcohol or mm -hmm. drug misuse is, is one cause. Mm -hmm. Some say mental illness is another cause of it. Mm -hmm. And some say earlier experience of violence or abuse. Mm -hmm. it's, it, th these are, are these myths or mm -hmm. is there any truth to this? Mm -hmm. uh, I think there certainly, um, alcohol can be involved in women's experiences of violence, of but I don't think it's um, the cause, cause of it. Mm. We have to be really careful about that because mm. that often lets men off the hook for their behavior. Right, right. And the reality is that um, men don't choose to beat up their best friend even if they get drunk. They get drunk, Or right. they don't choose to even beat their up child, their neighbor. Even the child is their so, wife. You know, the target is very specific and focused and intentional. So we try not to go that route. However, mm -hmm. one of the 
signs of, um, or sort of warning signs around mm -hmm. abuse is that if he does drink and get drunk and then th therefore become more abusive or more right. violent, right. then mm -hmm. that's a so dangerous sign. So it's something that is in them, it's just the alcohol is just bringing it out basically. That's right. So it's not, that's, it's not the alcohol that's causing it. It's not it. the cause, mm. yeah. At the end of the day, um, this guy is really responsible for his own behavior. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And he right. makes a choice. So to be do, do you find that a particular mm. race or culture or group of people are more, mm -hmm. you know, Prone do you do find that mm -hmm. they come to you more with abuse issues or is it just, you know, Across everybody? The board. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. Violence against women is pervasive, it's endemic, it's an epidemic, mm. it's, um, it happens in all cultures, it happens in all classes, it happens in all races, um, it happens pretty much younger women are more vulnerable. If you're under 25, you have a higher risk mm. of being hurt by your partner or even being murdered. Is it because um, they're more uh, violent? So it's, is that what it's it is? all women, I would say. And right. it's sometimes we tend to say, oh, that particular culture, culture is more violent. Is or, And the reality is that violence plays out differently in different cultures. cultures right. And you know what, um, how whatever, Customs have um, encouraged patriarchy and men's control. Oh, right. Just Play like out me and John women. were talking that mm -hmm. that other culture, the men are allowed to because they're you're their uh, wife and they can do whatever. So mm -hmm. basically, it's where you're from and how much power they give to men that also encourages that kind of yeah. Behavior. And, and and I would say that. Um, I think violence against women is embedded in all cultures. cultures right. uh, you know, so again, I don't want to necessarily say that. Just declare about that. That's right, right, because violence against women is violence against women. Mm -hmm. So even if you hear terms like, oh, that's an honor, mm -hmm. this, or, mm -hmm. you know, like the reality is that there's absolutely no honor in killing. There's mm. no honor in murdering, That's you true. know, and it's still violence. Right. But you had asked me something and I, I didn't answer it. Well, what was that again? Is what you mean right now? No, the <laughs> one before. <laughs> oh. I forgot. Oh. We'll come back. We'll, we'll get back, back to it. the question. Okay, so let's focus on mm. the big topic, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the big issue that we're mm -hmm. discussing here. And which is mm -hmm. some of these women who mm -hmm. are in these abusive relationships, yeah. they, they are unable to leave or they are mm -hmm. unwilling to leave. They're mm -hmm. not even allowing so, it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you think is going on? What are the reasons sure. why they are unable to leave? There's something upstairs that's not clicking together. <laughs> <laughs> is this the thing going well, on? Well, you know, people assume <laughs> that it is so easy. Why doesn't she just that's, get up that's and leave? My, that's what a lot you know, of people I'm say like, to hey, me all the time. Why aren't you? Oh, those women, why can't they just leave? Yeah. It's so easy. So there are a number of things. It's actually not that easy. It's very complicated. Tell so for, for one thing, women love the guy. Like they're in love yeah. with yeah. their partner or whoever. They don't want to leave um, the relationship because they, they like him, you know, and they just want the abuse to finish, but they're in love. There's also fear um, and fear because they know how violent he can be. But also the reality is that when you leave a relationship, that's the time you're at the highest risk to be murdered or wow. killed by your partner. Wow. Because that's when they loosen their control. Oh. Mm. So um, there's, there's real fear about perhaps being killed. Um, there's also the reality that, and you had mentioned it before, that women, uh, most women don't make high incomes, especially when you're talking about certain vulnerable groups, immigrant mm. women, right. you know, so poverty sometimes and the Play fact the that they will not be able to support their children right. and they'll lose access to a second income mm. or some of them aren't even working because they're home mm. taking do, care do of their kids. Do you find that age plays any, like some women yeah. that might feel like, oh, I'm, way, I'm too old, I'm already, uh, I have five kids now, where am I going? Is age, or do you see that younger women leave easily than the older ones? Do you find that there is any kind of a cause? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I think definitely um, women's self-esteem could yeah. play a role in it, and, and that could be because they feel that they're too old, or it could mm. be that they feel they're too ugly or nobody will mm. want them or yeah. the fact that they've got kids. Okay. So definitely your internal strength 
Mm. I think um, has a lot to Lots do with them, it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, depending on if immigration is an issue, like mm. if you're de if you're oh, waiting yeah, to get your status okay. and you're f afraid of being deported, especially with some of these new the new legislation that they have, mm. um, women could stay because they don't want to lose their status. Or if they go back to, if they get deported, it could be worse for right. them there. Tell me about that new legislation. Is it the one that says that you have to remain married for two years mm -hmm. before you can become a permanent resident? Okay, basically and that's that, it. Yes, and that even if you, you in an abusive relationship, you are scared that if you leave, your status will be taken away from you. Absolutely, by, by it really so puts don't you they, in. Don't, don't the government consider that, that <clears throat> um, you know, they are in a relationship but they're getting abused, they don't consider that to... Well, let, let's well I believe that, that let's there's been some you. effort too, but still um, agencies are still, uh, there's still a lot of doubt. There is basically oh, the perception yeah. that women lie or about the abuse or they just whatever. come to Canada get and status get and, status, right? and, the, and that may be the case in you know maybe a very few relationships but the reality is that the way the legislation is framed mm -hmm. is that it puts women in very vulnerable situations yeah. and it reinforces their um, position of subordination mm. yeah so wow. yeah Wow. Okay, on that note, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to continue this discussion. Mm.